Uh, early this morning, about 12.31 a.m., uh, the, the St. Lucie County Emergency Operations Center received two 9-11 calls. Both callers indicated and told the dispatchers that the Islamic Center of Fort Pierce here was on fire. Firefighters quickly acted to extinguish the flames. However, the flame was up into the attic area of the uh, Islamic Center, which meant the flame was not fully extinguished until about 5 a.m. this morning. Surveillance footage that was as a part of the surveillance system of the mosque was recovered. It, it demonstrated and showed that a lone, either white or Hispanic male pulled up on a single motorcycle to the east side of the Islamic, Islamic Center. As the individual was approaching the building, there was a, he was holding a bottle of some sort of uh, fluid and what, what appeared to be some papers or something like that. Shortly after the individual approached the building, an immediate, very large flash was observed in the video footage. The male was then seen leaving the mosque in a hurry. While the male was leaving, the male was shaking his hand. We're not sure, but it is possible that the male sustained burns on that hand. Right now, we're not sure exactly whether this is a hate crime or just an arson. We do know that a crime has occurred and that it is arson. We do not have evidence right now that says it's a hate crime. Of course, with what is going on, of course, because this is a place of worship, and of course, because this incident occurred on the anniversary of 9-11, we are going to explore that, but we are not confident to say that that is the case at this time. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.